Hi everybody, I hope you are well. Today I'm doing a video on the issues I'm facing with my rescue dog Sky and is rescuing for everybody. Would I recommend it? The first thing to talk about is the process. So what was the process like to get Sky? Well, I got Sky and I was thinking about getting her for about nine months after Dante, who you may have seen videos on, where I did a video series called Diary of a Rescue Dog, <laughs> where Dante had behavioral issues of barking and lunging. And, and I worked with him for such a long time and I was distraught to give him back. So I thought to myself, I'm not going out for walks. I'm not getting the exercise because my dog Rex is too old. He can't go out. So I thought it's about time that I can rescue a dog. And I looked around for another Spanish rescue and I came across a rescue center called Five Circles Dog Rescue. And to be honest with you, getting Sky was quite hard. It wasn't an easy process, but that was actually quite a good thing, I think, because if the rescue center is just gonna give anybody a dog, they're not really got the dog's best interests at heart. And if you do get a dog that's not right for you because you haven't got the right environment, because you work too much, then it's gonna be so stressful for you and so stressful for your dog, I certainly wouldn't recommend it. And Skye's issues are, well, she has separation anxiety. Uh, she jumps up on the counter looking for food. She chases animals, she runs off, and she jumps up on people. Now, of course, there's so many rescue dogs you can get which don't have any behavioral issues. So please don't let this video put you off. I just want to kind of be informative about what's out there and what you can possibly do and if it's right for you. So just to give you a brief insight on how I'm going to deal with those separation anxiety issues and how I'm going to deal with the other behavioral issues she's got. So how I'm dealing with this is with her separation anxiety, I'm not fussing her too much throughout the day and I'm going out each day, taking the bins out, coming back in again. And I'm sometimes doing that more than what I need to. So anytime there's a bin around or recycling needs to be done, I'm using it as an excuse to go out because the more time she sees me go out and comes back in again and I'm normalizing that behavior, then I can just up the time over time as she relaxes. What I'm also doing is I'm not gonna attempt to do too much too soon because I realize a lot of this general anxiety it's just coming from needing her to settle in, just in general. So once she's totally settled in, dealing with separation anxiety is gonna be a lot easier. Her chasing animals issue is being done by, um, I can show you footage with Dante here where he used to chase sheep and I would move Dante back, wait for him to calm, and then I'd try and get closer to sheep over time. I'm doing the same with Sky. Uh, her jumping up, well, when she jumps up, I'm ignoring her. If she carries on, I'm moving away. And if she carries on, I'm putting her in another room. What I don't want to do is frighten her though. So I really figured out that if she's an okay dog for me to move away, some dogs, you can't do that at first. Some dogs, they find that intimidating. So you've really got to know what dog you have in order to see if you can move them away or can put them in another room to calm down. Uh, her other issues of uh, going for food, well, when she first arrived, I was so worried about moving her away and the issue of her taking food out of my hand was actually quite scary. So what we ended up doing was making sure there was no food around, that we put her in another room whilst we're eating. And then after a few days, what we started doing was just tethering her, like putting her on a long lead and tying her up while she saw us eat every day. And once she saw us eat every day, well, that gave her the opportunity to kind of see that they're eating food and I can't get to it. So that was showing her that I had control of the food without getting in too much conflict with her. So if I were going to kind of move her away and get in a bit of conflict with her from day one, that could have traumatized her. So I really had to figure out what I could get away with and what I can't. And every dog's different. Some dogs, you know, you'll get them into the home and you even go near them and they start growling. Those particular dogs, they need leaving alone for a long, long time so they can decompress. And then interaction's gotta be on your terms. So you call the dog over to you, you don't go up to the dog. I mean, everything we're doing is about getting those stress levels down. And when I got Sky into my home, I was like, right, what can I do to make sure I do not rise those stress levels? So a lot of it was avoidance. A lot of it was like not going out outside too quickly. Uh, not even interacting with her too much. And then I kind of figured her out and she figured me out. And when I saw that she was a little bit affectionate and playful, as you might better see right now, um, when she was, I saw she was like that and she, would, she could handle me cuddling, 
then I realized, oh, I can move you away. I can give you consequences. So there's so much to think about. You really have to think about your environment. You really have to think about the time you've got. You really have to figure out the dog that you're bringing into your home and the personality of the dog. And then if you get behavioral issues, you've then got to think if you're equipped to deal with them. So if you can think of all those variables and then make a, uh, an educated decision on that, then you shouldn't have too many problems. But if you just go out and just get a rescue dog and just do a kind thing and your heart is so big that you're not thinking it through, you could have some behavioral issues which could hinder both your happiness. Like I said, this scenario does stress me out a little bit. It is, it is hard, it does cost money, it does cost time. So think about, are you equipped to do that? Hopefully you're gonna turn around and say, yep, I'm equipped to do all of this and I cannot wait to get started. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you on future videos where you'll see me addressing Sky's behavioral issues and many of the dog's behavioral issues. Bye for now.